Hello lads and ladies, you're watching Football Daily and yes, it's that time of the week again, it's Transfer Talk. With the transfer window opening again in just 97 days, get in, we will be covering all the latest rumours from around Europe. But if you hear any transfer rumours yourself, remember to tweet them in. To do so, make sure you're following us on Twitter and tweet hashtag transfer talk to me at DoogieFFTD or the Football Daily account. Also as ever, make sure you like and subscribe. Right, we kick off this week's roundup with some potentially bad news for two of Europe's biggest clubs. As we mentioned some months ago, Man City and particularly Barcelona are incredibly interested in signing Ajax's 21-year-old midfielder Frankie de Jong, with the Blaugrana rumoured to have already signed pre-contract terms with the player. Now Dutch newspaper Die Telegraaf are reporting that both Man United and Real Madrid have entered the race, with the 13-time European champions ready to trump the rest with a whopping €80 million Euro bid. His technical quality, passing ability and midfield control makes him a natural successor to 33-year-old FIFA Best Award winner Luka Modric. Nevertheless, this massive fee, which would be the joint 8th biggest in football history, seems like an enormous commitment on a player that has only made 22 Eredivisie starts. Perhaps it would be worth continuing to monitor his development for another year or so rather than splashing that sort of cash immediately. Just a thought. Now we head to North London where another player that FD have been championing for a while, 20-year-old Ren winger Ismail Assar, could be subject to yet another bidding war. The Daily Mirror claimed that the youngster, valued at roughly £20 million by the Northern French club, has drawn admiring glances from Inter Milan and Arsenal in recent weeks. And it isn't surprising, the Senegalese winger playing just his third year in Liga has been in exceptional form, having scored three goals in seven appearances for the Red and Blacks this campaign. Coming off the back of three World Cup appearances with his country, Saar has started the season full of confidence and scored a stunning volley on his Europa League debut against Czech side FK Jablonek last week. With Inter having only scored six goals in five Serie A games and with Kondreva and Perisic 31 and 30 respectively, we feel Saar could be of more use to the Nerazzurri than the Gunners. But if he continues his current trajectory, he will no doubt attract the interest of Europe's elite, so securing his signature now is a good option. Arsenal fans, what do you think though? Is he the out and out winger you've been crying out for? Let us know in the comments below. We head over to Germany now, where Sport Media Set claim that Bayern Munich are interested in signing RB Leipzig's 22 year old defender Lukas Klostermann in order to address their fullback crisis. Juan Bernat's deadline day transfer to PSG has left you rotten with only Rafina, who suffered a nasty injury against Bayer Leverkusen 10 days ago, Alaba and Kimmich on their books as regular fullbacks a problem they are keen to address come January. Klosterman took his first steps in football at Bochum before transferring to RB Leipzig in August 2014 and rose to become a regular last campaign, making 46 appearances in all competitions. With Kimmich having been involved in a mental 39 goals in 130 Bayern games from right back and with Alaba getting back to his best after two mediocre campaigns, it seems unlikely he would be a guaranteed starter. But the 14 cap German under 21 international is clearly talented and capable of playing on the right and left of the defence, making him a valuable addition to Kovac's side. So, nearly there, guys, but if you've had enough at this point, why don't you check out Stat Wars, where we do battle over your football related trivia by clicking the i button just above. And as ever, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Continuing with the fullback theme, it appears that PSG have identified Juventus left back Alexandro as their primary target. Calcio Mercato writes that the 27 year old Brazilian, capped 11 times by his country, is a long term favourite of PSG's sporting director Antero Ulrique, who brought him to Porto from Santos in July 2011. Sandro, who has won the Scudetto in each of his three seasons in Turin since his 26 million euro move, has been heavily linked with Chelsea over the last 18 months. But it appears that Thomas Tuchel, who identified fullbacks as an area to strengthen when he arrived in May, will finally be able to get his wish. Having scored four and assisted four in 26 Serie A games last term, he would be a massive step up with Kazar and Bernat. So if the Parisians could get this done, it would make a major statement. But we want to hear from you. Do you think this is a good move for the player and who do you think will go further in this season's Champions League? PSG or Juve? Vote in the poll above. Right, Juventus fans currently weeping at the prospect of losing Alexandro, cheer up! We have some really good, if slightly unbelievable, news for you. That's because Calcio and Mercato are also reporting that the IB and Canary are considering an approach for Manchester City star Leroy Sane. The 22-year-old German was a key part of Man City's record-breaking Premier League campaign last season, with his performances earning him the PFA Young Player of the Year award. However, the 13 capped international has been limited to just two Premier League stars this year prompting speculation that he could be tempted by a move away. But according to the article, any move for Sane is not expected till next summer at the earliest, 
with Juve forced to comply with financial fair play in the wake of the arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo. Chairman Andrea Agnelli is reportedly eager to sign a young Ronaldo to build the side around. And he's identified Sane, who the CIES value at 149 million euros, as someone who fulfills their criteria. But having been involved in 35 goals in 65 Premier League games since his transfer from Schalke and with a contract running until 2022, there is literally zero chance of this transfer happening. Good one, Calcio Marcato. Right now it's time for our headline story, the one you have all been waiting for, and it's potentially massive news. Jose Mourinho has claimed that he is very much open to the prospect of bringing ex-United forward Memphis Depay back to Old Trafford. The 24-year-old Dutchman, who has scored 11 goals in 39 appearances for his country, was sold to Lyon for £60 million 18 months ago and has taken Ligue 1 by storm, averaging 0.8 goal involvements per league game. Now Mourinho has opened up the possibility of Depay, who scored 7 goals in 53 games for the Red Devils between May 2015 and January 2017, rejoining the club. The direct quotes are as follows. He was playing well in Holland. We know the Dutch league is not the same, but he was showing very good things. He then goes on to say he didn't succeed in his 18 months, but he's very young. We all wish he plays very, very well for Lyon, and why not come back because everyone here likes him. With Sanchez, Lingard, Rashford, Mata and Martial contributing just two league goals this season between them, there is definitely space for someone with Depay's output. But would Mourinho get the best out of him and would one of the others have to be sold? As of yet, these questions remain unanswered. Man United fans, we want to hear from you though. Would you welcome his return or should you be aiming higher? Let us know in the comments below. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the video. Your award, the face of the poshest man in football daily. For more great content, why don't you click in this box here? And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.